Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Iron Fleet channel. Imagine living with the open ocean as your everyday view, where the sound of the waves sets the pace of your daily routine. This is what life is like aboard a destroyer, a powerful warship that patrols the seas. Inside the steel giant, the crew works tirelessly, combining their skills and dedication to maintain peace and security. Every day on board is proof of human resilience and of the ship's advanced technology. The conditions are demanding, requiring precision and constant alertness. Yet this environment is also a place where teamwork and camaraderie thrive beneath the endless blue horizon. This documentary explores this remarkable way of life and reveals the unseen aspects of serving on one of the world's most advanced naval ships. In the realm of naval warfare, the term Greyhound evokes images of agility, speed, and relentless pursuit. In the Navy, it represents a class of warships that are the epitome of tactical prowess and strategic significance. Greyhounds, often symbolized by destroyers and frigates, are engineered for high-velocity operations, cutting through the waters with precision and grace. Their role extends beyond mere presence. They are the guardians of the seas, specializing in convoy escort and anti-submarine warfare. These vessels stand as a deterrent to threats, embodying a perfect amalgamation of speed, firepower, and resilience, safeguarding the maritime order in the world's vast and unpredictable oceans. Let's focus our lens on a particularly iconic class of destroyer, the Arleigh Burke class. These guided missile destroyers represent a remarkable fusion of technological innovation and naval strategy. Central to their design is the Aegis Combat System, anchored by the SPY-1D Multifunction Passive Electronically Scanned Array Radar. Named in honor of Admiral Arleigh Burke, a distinguished World War II destroyer officer and later Chief of Naval Operations, these ships are a testament to his legacy. Measuring over 500 feet in length, and displacing up to 9,700 tons. They boast an arsenal of over 90 missiles, surpassing many of their predecessors in size and firepower. Their versatility is unmatched, enabling them to conduct a range of missions from anti-aircraft warfare using the Aegis and surface-to-air missiles, to tactical land strikes with Tomahawk missiles. Their anti-submarine warfare capabilities are enhanced by towed array sonar and anti-submarine rockets. Alongside ASW helicopters, while their anti-surface warfare prowess is demonstrated through ship-to-ship -ship missiles and guns. Further evolving through upgrades like the ANSPY-1 and ANSPY-6 radar systems, these destroyers have become pivotal mobile platforms for anti-ballistic missile and anti-satellite operations. The USS Arleigh Berg, the lead ship of this class, was commissioned in 1991, marking the beginning of what would become the US Navy's longest running production of surface combatants. As of October 2023, all 73 ships built remain active, with more planned, highlighting their enduring significance in maritime defense. The Arleigh Burke class has evolved through four variants, or flights, each incorporating technological advancements to meet the dynamic needs of modern naval warfare. Aboard the formidable Arleigh Burke class destroyers, a world far beyond their strategic and combative functions unfolds reflecting the day-to-day -day realities and human elements of naval life. At the core of this floating community is the galley, more than just a place for meal preparation. 
It's where culinary staff work diligently to provide nourishing and comforting meals, acting as a central gathering spot that fosters a sense of unity and camaraderie among the crew. This bustling mess deck becomes a place of social interaction and a welcome break from the rigors of naval duties, serving as a reminder of home for those stationed far out at sea. As vital as these communal spaces are the personal quarters, the sleeping cabins. Though compact, these cabins are essential havens, offering sailors a private refuge for rest and contemplation, a necessary contrast to the constant activity and demands of their roles on the ship. Beyond the structured routine of work and rest, life on these destroyers is punctuated by moments of leisure and recreation integral for maintaining morale during extended deployments. The ship transforms into a lively community with events like picnics on the deck, where the vastness of the ocean serves as a backdrop for moments of relaxation and socializing. Singing competitions and cooking contests emerge as popular pastimes, creating an atmosphere of friendly competition and fostering a sense of family among the crew members. Games and other recreational activities provide a much-needed escape, offering sailors the opportunity to unwind and connect with each other on a personal level. These aspects of life aboard the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, often unseen and unspoken, are as crucial as their military operations. They represent the spirit and resilience of the crew, a testament to their ability to find balance and camaraderie in the unique environment of a naval vessel, constantly navigating the challenges of life at sea. While the crew's life aboard the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers encompasses camaraderie and community, an equally critical aspect of their duty lies in the meticulous maintenance and operational readiness of these advanced vessels. Regular maintenance of the ship's lifelines is paramount, ensuring that every component of the guided missile destroyer operates at peak efficiency. This routine yet vital work is not just about preserving the ship's physical integrity. It's a testament to the crew's dedication to upholding the highest standards of naval readiness. In addition to the routine upkeep, these destroyers frequently conduct replenishment at sea operations, demonstrating their capability to sustain prolonged deployments. Such operations are often carried out with fast combat support ships, during which the destroyers receive not only essential supplies, but also advanced biofuel blends. This practice underscores the Navy's commitment to innovative, sustainable practices, aligning with broader environmental goals. The seamless execution of these replenishment missions is crucial, as it ensures the destroyer's continuous readiness to support global security and stability. The maintenance and resupply efforts aboard the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers embody the Navy's unwavering dedication to maintaining a ready and resilient force, prepared to face the challenges of a dynamic maritime environment. These vessels engage in intensive flight operations and firing drills to maintain peak readiness. These ships, equipped with helicopters, extend their operational capabilities through air support, vital for reconnaissance and tactical advantage. Frequent live fire exercises test and hone the precision of their missile and gun systems, ensuring combat readiness. These drills not only showcase the ship's formidable firepower, but also keep the crew adept in handling diverse combat scenarios. 
highlighting their capabilities during Valiant Shield 2014. These destroyers demonstrated their prowess in Torpex. Showcasing the effectiveness of their torpedo launchers, this rigorous training regime, including torpedo exercises, exemplifies the class's versatility and preparedness as a key element of the U.S. Navy's maritime force. Let's explore a broader aspect of naval warfare. Torpedo launches remain a key element in maritime combat. Torpedo tubes, essential for launching these underwater weapons, vary significantly between submarines and surface vessels. Submarines typically employ versatile launchers, suitable for torpedoes, mines, and cruise missiles. Whereas surface ships often use deck-mounted units designed for specific torpedo types. Innovative examples include French submarines using piston mechanisms for torpedo launch, contrasting with the more common compressed air method. Standard sizes in modern launchers range from 12.75 inches for light torpedoes on surface ships to 21 inches for heavy torpedoes on submarines. Showcasing the diversity and evolution of torpedo launch technology in naval history. From the discussion on torpedo launches, let's explore how submarines, the stealthy predators of the deep, transition from surface patrolling to submerging underwater. Before a dive, a submarine performs a meticulous patrol ensuring the surrounding waters are clear and conditions are optimal for submersion. The actual diving process involves a complex interplay of mechanics and physics. Water is allowed into the ballast tanks, increasing the submarine's weight to achieve negative buoyancy. Simultaneously, the dive planes are angled to assist in the downward movement. This carefully controlled flooding, balanced with precise adjustments to the submarine's trim and buoyancy, enables it to descend smoothly beneath the waves. The entire operation is a delicate balance, ensuring stealth, safety, and precision. Allowing the submarine to seamlessly transition from surface navigation to underwater exploration and patrol. The intricate dance of naval technology from the formidable capabilities of surface ships with their advanced torpedo launchers, to the stealth and intricacy of submarine operations, represents the pinnacle of maritime engineering and strategy. The seamless transition of submarines from surface patrolling to underwater submersion illustrates the sophisticated balance of physics and mechanics that underpins modern naval warfare. These capabilities, combining raw power with precision and stealth, underscore the vital role of naval forces in maintaining security and stability in the world's oceans. Thank you for watching. If you appreciated this deep dive into naval life, please subscribe for more insights and join us on future voyages. Until next time, stay vigilant.